Hello, Staten Island. What's going on? This is Together Aside Business Spotlight. My name is Todd Bavona, reporting for the Staten Island events. It's a chat with someone from the small business community on Staten Island. Today, our conversation takes us to the Man Cave, located on Page Avenue in Richmond Valley. And joining me right now, as you can see in this beautiful setting here at the Man Cave, is Alban Alilia. So tell us a little bit about your, your history as a barber and the history of the Man Cave. Uh, the history of the Man Cave actually started off uh, last year in November, November 1st. We officially opened up as a family-run establishment. And yeah, since then, you know, we started getting, being part of Tottenville, of the South Shore especially. And uh, yeah, and the history in, in general of this was basically, the main idea of this was just being a community hotspot. Mm -hmm. And as you see, I tried my best um, making the man cave as comfortable as possible for men as well as for women. I was about to ask that. So he offers both cuts to males and females. Yes. Uh, now he said family operated business. This is you and your wife. Is that That's correct? That's correct. Excellent. So um, do you both do man and female cuts? Um, I do man only. So I'm specialized in men's haircut. And my wife does both, but she's also specialized mostly in women hair services like extensions, Brazilian blowouts, colorings, balayage, and so on and so on. And everything. So a great line of services here at the, at the Man Cave for men and women. And you've been in the U.S. for six years, and we were speaking before this interview, and you said that you came to the States and then picked up haircutting. Yes. Right? Um, I have to correct you, it's eight years now. Eight years, there you go. Eight years, so I came here from Germany. I was born and raised in Germany. My parents are originally from Albania. And uh, I came here, I started bartending. I had a degree in Germany, which was kind of like difficult over here to use, to find a job in chemistry. I have a chemistry degree. The thing is just, um, I had to retake my exams and all. There was a lot of money, which I didn't have at that time. And I was bartending. That was my other thing I was doing back home. So I was bartending for a while and bartending and family life really doesn't work together. And my wife at that time was already a hairstylist. So I went to barber school after she kind of like um, brainwashed me, let's call it. <laughs> do it, do it. So I did it. And uh, I went for a couple months to the barber school in Manhattan. Then I worked up on the North Shore on Manor Road to my friends over there to Eddie and Boots, and I was there for a while, almost five years, and I had a great time, but that was the moment I had to go on, move forward in life, and I took uh, things under control and opened up the Man Cave Barbershop on the South Shore. So you and life come to the great Richmond Valley area, servicing Tottenville, Pleasant Plains, and of course everywhere on the South Shore. What's to come for the Man Cave, Alban? What, what do you expect and what are you hoping to get here, I think? We spoke about looking for barbers, looking for a little bit of hand, isn't that right? Yes, uh, we're looking for barbers. Uh, we are a busy barber shop. It's getting busier and busier week after week. And uh, it's just, um, I don't need to have the best barber in the world here. I need to have somebody here who's a people's person. Somebody who understands and respects the customer. Doesn't matter what age he is. And that's all I'm looking for, and I can guarantee you, if you're a people's person, people in Tottenville and the South Shore will love you, and you will have a lot of business in here. So we are in phase three now, right, Alban, like a modified phase three, hopefully phase four is coming soon. Um, so you're still accepting patrons here, socially distant, not yeah. having too many people here at, yeah. at a time or whatnot. Um, what other positive takeaways can you have from this whole quarantine situation and being away from so long? What was the response of the community? What's, what's some things you're looking forward to as a business, Alban? I can tell you one thing. Now people appreciate those barbers much more than before. And um, I mean, you know, we just try to fix their home cuts up now, you know? <laughs> I was about to ask that. What it's, what it's been like fixing home cuts? What's that been like? It's not too bad. As long as I can fix it, it's not a bad cut. So, okay. you know, so <laughs> let's say it this way. And, um, you know, people were just scared. You know, with the media and all that, and with the announcements coming from the government and all that. you better safe than sorry at the end. I totally understand. And I'm not the only one who, who got hurt during the quarantine. All the businesses got hurt. And now it's just important that all the business owners just get together and kind of like work together through this reopening phase. 
so that everybody can eat and everybody can pay their bills and make money somehow and so and also that we get along you know there you go their phone's ringing off the hook right now they're watching the spotlight on silive.com and they're calling up alban here at the man cave on page avenue richmond valley trying to get their haircuts fixed male or female are welcome here right alban everybody's welcome here excellent all right that'll do it for this edition of together si business spotlight reporting for the staten island events my name is Tom Bavona. Many thanks to Abana Lili here at the Man Cave. Again, we are in Page Avenue in Richmond Valley. Be sure to call them up to get your cut right here. All right, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.